Hey guys, it's Matt, and welcome to Redstone 101. It's been a while since I've made one of these, so this is only going to be a short video just to show the a T flip flop design. Basically, with all the complex designs that I'm going to be doing or planning to be doing, a lot of them use a T flip flop somewhere in them. Now, there are loads of designs, but I've recently stumbled across a new one which is much more compact, so this is the one I'm going to be using for all the videos. Um, I said I wasn't going to show logic gates and stuff, but this is a fairly important one, so. I'll just show you this one, it's quite simple, so you start out with two like this, your input comes in here by the way, um, so I'll just leave a button there. Um, then you place a torch on the right hand side of it, and a torch on the left hand side of the other one. Then you wire that up to the other one, so it's basically just an inverter, like that. So now what you need to do then is you need to place a repeater in the middle of it and put it on the second tick, I think it's the second tick, just so it comes on briefly, it needs to be on one less I think. There you go, so just a little brief input, it's on the third tick. Then you need to place some redstone wire here, and then, oops, hang on. You need a sticky piston for this. Then you place a sticky piston like that, and then a block on, on it, of course. Now, since this only goes on for a very short delay, it doesn't actually retract the block back. See how it leaves it like that? And then we press it again, it comes back like that. So what we do with this design, then, is, is if you put input in through here, when you press it, of course, it's going to move the block so input won't come out anymore. And that's the way this T flip flop works. So it's quite good, very compact. So you need to let power get through here. So you put a inverter on one side, a repeater, sorry, on one side. And then, hang on a sec, just like that. Well, just redstone on one side, so it'll go through it. Now, of course, then you put a torch there. That lets power go through it. When you press the button, the power goes off. What you can also do then is you can also put a second one here. And of course, that'll just put the opposite signal out. So say if you were to just, in fact, you don't want to have it that way. If you were to have it so, in fact, you need it like that. There you go. So say you wanted to have two different ones. One is the inverse of the other, of course. So it goes through and it'll power the other one instead. But I tend to leave that off because it's not usually needed. So anyway, that's the T flip flop. Very simple, very compact, much better than the old ones, which are much bigger. Short episode just to get back into the swing of things. Next episode's going to be a bit more interesting, and I'll see you then. 